As usual, let's start with a problem. Suppose a program that filters all the invoices where value is smaller than 100. But there's a difference in this requirement, because invoices come from a database. This is the first time we have to deal with an external system. You can see my implementation here. We have this data access object in the first line. This is the class that is responsible to get data from the database. We get all the invoices by means of this all method. And then we have the business rule, which is going through all the invoices that are there. And if the value is smaller than 100, we put it in a separate list. Later, we return this list. If you have structural testing in mind, you probably thought about exercising the if decision in the two possible ways, the true and the false branch. You also thought about exercising the for and make sure that the program works when this loop is never executed, when it's executed, uh, etc., etc., etc. So, you can apply all the testing techniques we have discussed so far. But when it comes to automation, the tricky part is that this piece of code goes to the database. It uses the data access object there, and this means we just have more work to do, right? So, let's do it. We need to set up the database in the test. So, for this test, we have to create two invoices. One in which the amount is smaller than 100, let's say 20, and another one where the amount is greater than 100, for example, 300. And then we need to save these into the database first. Uh, and then we do the test. We invoke the method under test, filter, and then we make sure that it only returns one item, which is the invoice number one. And then we should not forget to close the data access object, because otherwise we would have a database connection opened forever. In the exercises, you will actually exercise this test and you're going to play with it and see how hard it is to be done in practice. But what I want you to notice in this video is that although we are playing and interacting with the database here, that's not our goal. If we want to do unit testing, uh, means these tests need to be in an isolated way. What we want to test here is the business rule that is unique to this class. In other words, the algorithm we have there, which is basically the loop, the if condition, and etc. And in these tests, we kind of don't care about the database. The database is just something that returns us some list of invoices. And that's all. We don't want to test the database right now, but just the business rule. So the main question is, how can we get rid of the database for the sake of these tests?